you see the earth from space, it changes you. It changes your relationship with this planet, with humanity. I really want you to come with me. Would you? Are you serious? I am. I think it would be meaningful. I have my brother there. In this Instagram video, Blue Origin CEO Jeff Bezos shocked the world when he announced that he and his brother would be aboard the company's first human spaceflight scheduled for July 20th. If the suborbital flight of New Shepard is a success, it will propel Blue Origin ahead of competitors, setting the stage for the next era of commercial human space travel. I want to move out into the solar system. I want my grandchildren's grandchildren to be in that world, a world of pioneering and exploration, expansion throughout the solar system. The launch of New Shepard comes at a key moment for Blue Origin, which has faced setbacks in other high-profile parts of its business. Here's how Blue Origin blasted ahead of its competition and what its inaugural passenger flight means for the company. In the race to launch tourism flights into space, Blue Origin's main competitor, Virgin Galactic, has been in the lead. We are the first of the commercial spaceship companies to uh, put people into space. In May 2021, Richard Branson's space venture successfully launched its third crewed space flight. Three, two, one, release, release, release a feat Blue Origin has yet to achieve. But this is where Bezos' company hopes to inch out ahead. The new Shepard launch in July will have at least one paying passenger, something Virgin Galactic has never done. It's a key marker. Doug Cameron has covered the aerospace industry for over 30 years. They've won contracts, they've won government and, and military deals, they've developed rockets. But a lot of it is still just that, in development. So this is something where, which they've actually set out with an objective and, and achieved. If everything goes as planned, passengers will spend a few minutes experiencing microgravity above the Kármán line, the altitude where space begins. And the cost to be on this historic flight isn't cheap. In June, Blue Origin held a charity auction for a ticket to join Bezos into suborbital space. So, $28 million to number 107. There is ultimately a, perhaps a multi-billion dollar business to be built in taking people to the edge of space and maybe beyond. But as Blue Origin plans its first space tourism flight, larger parts of its business have been struggling. Recently, the space venture has faced scrutiny for losing a couple of high-profile government contracts. In April, SpaceX beat out Blue Origin in a bid to build a lunar lander for NASA. NASA officials said it chose SpaceX because its bid fit within the agency's budget. Blue Origin is uh, pushing back on that and it's hopeful that more money can be found and that it can get that kind of big government contract which can help fund future vehicles and technology going forward. NASA's lunar lander wasn't the only big-ticket deal that Blue Origin has missed out on. In August 2020, Bezos's company lost a multi-billion dollar Air Force contract to SpaceX and United Launch Alliance. Industry insiders were not surprised. The Pentagon had previously indicated that it would put a high value on the track record of each company in the running. And SpaceX and United Launch Alliance both had a longer history of military launches that Blue Origin did not. Recently, Bezos' company has also faced development delays. Its mammoth New Glenn rocket was originally slated for completion this year, but has been pushed back until late 2022. They obviously have a, a number of technical hurdles for, for the broader business that they still have to cross. Every executive and engineer in, involved in the space business will say that it's, it's hard, it, it's tricky. You're playing with physics here, and, and, and physics is a, a very hard uh, taskmaster. But aside from a rocky start, Blue Origin's space tourism program has run smoother than some other parts of the business. New Shepard's first uh, first launch uh, you know, didn't go well. It blew up. They, they've had 15 successful ones, as well as uh, tests of other, uh, other parts of the system since then. And the road to launch New Shepard has been successful in part due to its funding. Blue Origin has Bezos' financial backing, and he is one of the wealthiest men in the world. Bezos has funneled as much as roughly $1 billion a year into the space venture to fund his cosmic vision. It's one Earth. I want to go on this flight because it's a thing I've wanted to do all my life. It's an adventure. Bezos is even stepping away from his role as CEO of Amazon, one of the largest companies in the world, in part to focus on Blue Origin. If Blue Origin's rocket lifts off on schedule, 
it will be a big win for the company. The important thing about it, this first launch is uh, it, it'll be, you know, potentially the, the first time that Blue Origin has, has achieved something it said it was going to do that everyone can grasp. They've, they've put people in space. But competitor Virgin Galactic isn't far behind. In August 2020, the company signaled plans to launch its own tourism flights in 2021. So, if it's a success, the launch of New Shepard would signal the start of the next era of space tourism, not only for Blue Origin, but for the larger space industry as well.